welcome to my channel once again today i shall evaluate this integration complex and in, complex integration uh, using the residue theorem here you can see the integration and c is a circle with mod z equal to 3 so our fz is and this function is analytic within the circle mod z is equal to 3 except uh, this function is analytic within the circle mod z equal to 3 except uh, the poles so the poles which are z equal to 1 and z equal to 2 so uh, this uh, now z equal to 1 is a pole of order 2 so you understand that and z equal to 2 is a pole of order 1 so residue at z equal to 1 we can write residue at z equal to 1 will be we can write as uh, hope you remember the formula for residue so you can remember this residue suppose one function uh, say residue at a okay so better write at a so residue fa is equal to 1 by n minus 1 factorial uh, d n minus 1 dz n minus 1 uh, i can write it again so it cannot be seen here so first write this if you remember this residue this is general thing residue at a function fz uh, so n minus 1 you remember n is the order of the pool so we can write this like So hope you remember here fz is a function and it has a pole of order n at z equal to 1. So order is n and fz is the function and z equal to a is the pole. So you understand these things. So I shall use this residue. at z equal to 1 i have to find and i told you that this is a second order pool so i can write here you can see 1 uh, divided by 2 minus 1 factorial that is 1 factorial and uh, we have to do this derivative and again n is equal to 2 here so just d d z that's it and our function was here you can see z minus a to the power n so here we can easily write 
जी माइनस टू सॉरी वन होल स्क्वायर ऑन एफ जेड सो दिस डू इट अगेन clearly if we put fz like this here so you can see that this part will vanish because we already have multiplied this this so i just write the function as uh, dz z and sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 2 That's it. And we have to find this at z equal to one. So after doing this differentiation, uh, I just write the results. You can do it yourself. I have done this, so I just write the results here. so it will give you 2 pi plus 1 now residue at 2 so residue at z equal to 2 we have to find this is a pole of order 1 we can do this like this limit z tends to 2 which will be limit t tends to 2 sin pi z square plus cos pi z square divided by z minus 1 whole square and this will be 1 so we can do this integration so you know to pi i times the sum of the residues so we can write f z d z is equal to 2 pi i i times residue at 1 uh, is equal to 1 and residue at is equal to 2 so we can write this 2 pi i and our first one was 2 pi plus 1 and this will be 1 so Finally, we can write the result as four uh, pi pi plus one. Mm, here, I can write this i. That's it. So. Hope you have understood. this thing i have evaluated this integration using uh, residue theorem here so thank you for watching if you have found this video useful for you please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel as well thanks a lot